Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make some beautiful, colorful, geometric butterfly embellishments. I'm going to be using Liquid Sculpey and one of their silicone molds to create these beautiful butterflies. I did something similar before Christmas where I used another one of their molds to make some lace looking snowflake ornaments. These molds are really cool and super easy to use. And today I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting by dyeing the liquid Sculpey with alcohol ink. It took me a couple of tries to get it exactly how I wanted it to, to look, but you can get some really pretty colorful effects by dyeing the liquid Sculpey with your color choice of alcohol ink. I started by mixing a small amount of the liquid Sculpey with a few drops of alcohol ink. And as you can see, I used a very, very small amount of liquid Sculpey and it was A, not enough to fill one of the cavities of the mold and B, not a good ratio of alcohol ink to liquid Sculpey. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. I used Ranger brand Adirondack alcohol inks for this project, but I would think you could use any type of alcohol ink brand that you happen to have. I just used a wooden craft stick to mix together my alcohol ink and the liquid Sculpey, and I used that same craft stick to kind of scoop out the mixed Sculpey into the mold. You use the ink dyed liquid Sculpey the same way you would regular Sculpey. You just fill up the mold and then use the scraper that comes with the mold to smooth it out and make sure every single part of the mold is filled in. If you have any spaces where there's any gaps within the mold, then you need to go back and add a little bit more of the liquid Sculpey. I mixed up a few more colors of liquid Sculpey dyed with alcohol ink and did some experimenting on creating stripes and then creating like a marbled effect with different colors in the rest of the butterflies in the mold. When the mold was filled, I baked it in a 300 degree oven for 15 minutes and then let it cool. While this first batch did technically turn out, I noticed that there was some sort of like weird puffing and bubbling that happened with the liquid Sculpey. And I, it was fine, especially if you use that side as the back of your embellishment, but I wanted to do a little bit more experimenting to see if I could create any butterflies that didn't have that weird puffing happen. All right, just like you would with a normal batch of liquid Sculpey, you give the silicone mold a little bit of a tug and the butterflies pop right out. The thing I love about these Sculpey molds is you get such intricate detail and it's really so easy to use. So here are all six results from my first trial batch of coloring liquid Sculpey with alcohol ink. I think they turned out pretty well. The striped butterflies look really great. The marbled butterflies, you can't really tell that there's marbling too much. Maybe I use colors that were too close to one another to really have the marbling stand out and then the solid dyed butterflies turned out perfectly. For my second batch, I used significantly less alcohol ink when I was mixing up the liquid Sculpey. I would say I added maybe one or two drops to about a half a tablespoon of the liquid Sculpey. It still colored the Sculpey very, very well and it was a thicker texture and I had better results after baking it as well. After baking these second batch of butterflies in the oven, you can see I didn't get any of that puffing that I had with my first round. So I think using less alcohol ink is really the key to having really good results from this technique. Here are my results from that second round of alcohol ink dyed liquid Sculpey. I didn't try any fancy patterns or marbling with this round, but I still think they turned out really, really beautiful. 
Because I used the silver liquid Sculpey as a base, they all have a slight shimmer to them, but I believe you can do this same technique with any of the liquid Sculpey. So you can use the plain white or even the translucent and still dye it with alcohol inks. Once you have your butterflies all made, you can use them for a variety of projects. You can use them to make jewelry, to embellish cards, to add touches to ornaments like I did with these Easter eggs. You can even use them on your home decor projects. It's a really fun technique and it has lots of different possibilities when it comes to crafting. All right, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog, maddencrafts.com, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!